Hello guys, Keep Right On TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can t let's see if we can hit 200 likes, and as well if you haven't dropped a sub, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We are now just 42 subscribers away from 4,000 subscribers. So yeah, if you have been enjoying the content the past 28 days and have not been subscribing to the channel, return the favour, smash that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And also turn those post notifications on. But yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a video, another video talking about Frank Lampard. Now, of course, it come out um, yesterday that we have interviewed Frank Lampard about the managerial vacancy at Birmingham City Football Club. Now, this is obviously going to be one hell of a gamble for Nighthead. Because, of course, we all know what happened with Wayne Rooney. That was a big name that came into the football club and it completely failed. Yes, Frank Lampard has got more credit in the bank when it comes to his managerial record. But if this goes wrong and we make the same mistake as we did with Wayne Rooney, then Knighthead are going to be under massive, massive pressure from fans. Look, they got it right with Mowbray. Sadly, that, you know, unforeseen circumstances didn't you know, didn't let that happen, didn't make it, uh, you know, just did, that wasn't allowed to happen, um, but Lamp appointing Lampard, look, it's a, it's a massive gamble, it's a massive gamble, now his time at Derby County in the 2018-29 season, of course he got a sixth place with Derby County, they got to the, they got into the playoffs, they'd done a They've done an amazing turnaround, or they completed an amazing turnaround against Leeds in the playoff semi-final, and then they lost 2-1 to Aston Villa in the playoff final. I remember that season that he had with Derby County. He had experience, he had young players, and they finished, like I said, they finished sixth. They had the likes of Mason Mounds, um, Tamori. That season Derby County had was very impressive because, I mean, no one expected Lampard to get into the playoffs off memory. Then he went to Chelsea, he lost one of the best players that Chelsea have ever had in Eden Hazard and then got fourth. And then the following season he got sacked, he got sacked in January, but there was a time in the season where he was actually top of the Premier League, I think it was like the start of November. Then he went to Everton um, and then he was, he was sacked within a year. He got them survival, um, done well to be fair, um, to get them uh, survival in his first season. But then in his second season, the same with Chelsea, he got sacked. Due to them, I think they won like three out of the first 21 games. Everton did, which is actually mind blowing. Three out of the first 21 games, and then of course he had that second stint at Chelsea where everything just fell apart, and they was losing pretty much every single game. Now, look, this could be, this could go one or two ways. It could be a brilliant appointment, and Knighthead look like absolute geniuses, or this could go horribly wrong and. Things could go south, basically. Look, Lampard, this could be... Look, he's good with young players, yeah? He can develop young players. And we've, you know, we saw what happened with the under-21s last season. They won some... They, they won the trophy. Um, you know, we've got, we've got some really good young players. So, if Lampard was to come in and, uh, you know, hopefully he could um, do something with those young players. Um, you know, bed them into the first team. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens because it, we are actually two weeks now. It's been two weeks since Mowbray announced that he was going to step down. So an, an, an announcement is imminent. It's going to happen soon. But this could be what Lampard needs for his managerial career. Don't forget, he's still a fairly young manager. So if he wants to drop down to League One and take the league by storm, then maybe that could be the springboard for him to move his career forward, who knows, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below, it's been Keeper on TV, make sure to like, share and also subscribe to the channel, let's see if we can get 200 likes, thanks, 200 likes, thanks for watching as always guys, and as always, keep right on.